This is Twit. I am really excited. For a long time, you know, when did you start working at Skyline? A year and a half ago. So I was a fan of Luminar, Aurora, Tonality Pro before you came along. I was too. Yeah. That's how they found me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have been the one that told me. They, back in the day, they were called Mac Fun. Correct. And we, I think they were Mac Picks of the Week many, many times on Mac Break Weekly. Uh, we love them, M-A-C-P-H-U-N. But there was one little problem. They started, they're good programmers, and they started putting out apps, same apps, on Windows as well as Mac. And Mac Fun is not a good name for a software company making Windows software. I had to explain, explain this to the Ukrainians. They, they didn't understand. Uh, I, but they, they, well, got they didn't it. want to change the name. I don't want to yeah. change my name either. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes. Eight you years have to. under that name. Yeah. But we switched the name to Skylum Software. And now we're working with Windows. And we have uh, been working for a long time, to be honest. Yes. On a photo editor that also included an image browser. Nice. Similar to something like Lightroom or Bri Bridge or, or, or maybe, um, you know, some, there's a, some fast import programs that will let you just look at the pictures because... You're not going to like this, but I'm going to say it. Okay. And you can slap me around. But for a long time, a lot of people, a lot of people like me used Lightroom, used Photoshop, used Adobe products, were unhappy about the subscription. And we're also unhappy that, frankly, Lightroom especially has not is a pig. And then they start doing this new Lightroom CC. I, ha I was angry. And I'm looking for something to replace Lightroom. A digital, they call them digital asset management, where instead of having a multi-program workflow, I just import all my photos, modify them, post them, and I'm done. There were rumors, I think you even said it the last time you were here, that Skylum was going to do a damn program. And we are. You still are. We, we it's are, been a long time, dude. In three days from today, yes. anyone who owns Luminar 2018 is yes. going to get a little notice that says, guess what? You now have a free version of Luminar called Luminar 3, yep. and it includes our library. Oh. So how's that? I was about to yell at you. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's 59 bucks, which is the price That's it's pretty much always been. such a great price. Now, it is going to go up at the end of the year, but right now it's 59 bucks, and it's a buyout. There's no rent. There's no, no mandatory subscription. updates. It's just and, you're you, not, and you're not changing the user interface to some no. weird cloud-based nut job No, thing. it's all going to be here. Okay. And in three days, anyone who owns Luminar 2018 will get this for free. Now, I worked on trying to get a better deal than free. I can't. That's it. It's free. We're not going to pay you to switch, <laughs> but it's free. So how, just real quick, how I came to work with the company was I had switched to Luminar on my own. Yeah. I didn't know anybody at the company you're I, kidding. I did. I just, like, I found it, and I liked it, and I started posting. I think it was because you told me I about started it posting I started on my doing. Facebook and Twitter. I said, hey, That's what it was. Your great yeah. bird photos. And you said, this was done with Luminar. This is all done with And Luminar. I went crazy. And then Trey Ratcliffe, who was working on their HDR product, told me about Aurora. And I thought, right. if the two best photographers I know, Trey Ratcliffe and Scott Bourne, are using this stuff, I've got to use it. Well, they contacted me and said, hey, we want to work with you. And next thing I knew, I was on the board of advisors. And they said, hey, we want you to be president. Okay, I'll be president. <laughs> then they said, hey, we want you to be president of China and U.S. I said, okay, I'll oh, do that. Oh, wow. But the thing is, I only wanted to be involved for one simple reason. I think it was very cool that a professional photographer gets to have impact on photography software. Right. All the other companies no, are either run by bean counters or engineers. Yeah. So I have some impact on this, and I'm proud of it, and uh, I just want to show it to you. This is Luminar 3. This is the, for the first time in public. Here we go. There's a duck. There is a group of pictures. Now, if this were another program we know about, it might take a little while to do that. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, wait a minute, though. These are like really small thumbnails no, of No, these JPEGs. are all raw files, 20 megabits. What? Every single one of them. Oh, man. Look so, at that. You can double click on it. This is actually, I use a third party program to import my photos into Lightroom because it's too slow. I understand. I used Fast Raw Viewer because yeah. I can't do it. Well, this, this picture I've just brought up on the uh, screen. Go to the next picture, just real quickly. Just... Well, this is the fixed one. What? Okay. That would have taken literally three seconds. That's one click. Yeah. Um, this is a wood duck in uh, New Mexico. but Is it made of wood? No. But I want you to, I'm going to scroll through these now. It's not a decoy, it's a real duck. Notice that there's no What lag. the heck? These are full size, oh, full res. Oh, you can't res. do that in these are, these are full okay. res TIFFs. Okay. And, and RAWs. Okay. okay. And you see right. what's happening here? You sold me there's on this. There's absolutely nothing. Now, when you double click to go back out to this view, you can change the size here. And one of the things I really am proud of that we did, 
Notice that when you look at the pictures, they're not all squares. So you see they don't sit perfectly yeah. in squares. They, it, they automatically, dynamically work together to create. If they, if they all to make it squares, more pleasant. It's just more pleasant. And but when you go to the picture, like, it's look the here, actual like, aspect. Like, look here. None That's of these pretty. are squares. So it's like a little photo album. Yeah. It's, but if I look at the picture, I can And if you it. hit the F key, oh, you can go full nice. screen. And if you want to, you can take any particular image full screen. These are mostly rejects in this uh, group, but like I can hit F. Scott's rejects are like 30 times better than my best possible. Here's what fiction. we found out. The average person spends about 70% of their time looking at their photos in their photo That's software. Right. So we That's wanted to right. make that experience as seamless as we could. But the big issue is file management, Leo. Okay. People call me all the time, as they do you, and say, Scott, I lost all my pictures in Lightroom. Well, you didn't lose them. It's just you forgot to tell Lightroom. They're on some it. hard drive in my closet. Right. Or I, yeah. So what we figured out is a way to get around that, which is you tell Luminar when you first start it where your pictures are. Okay. Where you want to house your library. So in my case, I have the ubiquitous pictures folder right here. Now, here's what's cool about Luminar 3. If I want to add pictures to this program, I could use our import dialog. But I can also just drag them into the folder where my pictures and Luminar are. Now, here's the magic. I didn't touch any buttons in Luminar. Okay. There's all the pictures I just oh, imported. Oh, wow. Okay. So, but where did it put them? It, it, <laughs> it didn't put them anywhere. It took them from where they are. Okay. See, it doesn't move but the if pictures I, around. But if I had done it with a photo card, like I uh, mostly my workflow is take the pictures, take out the card, put it in the... You can tell it where you want it to go. You could say, okay, yeah. whenever I import pictures... But, the cool but there thing, wasn't even an import, really. But here's you what's just cool. dragged it there. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's say you got multiple people working on a project and you're yeah. using a Dropbox. Yeah. You put some pictures in the Dropbox from here. I put some in from Seattle. It will automatically add it. will all show up. Oh, that's nice. Now, now let me show now, you. Does it, uh, how about duplicates? How does it handle duplicates? Pretty it's, well? If you have a file, it's there. Okay. So it's up to you to decide. But okay. now let me show you something really cool. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to remember, I haven't told Luminar where these pictures are. Right. Never. I haven't done anything. Right. I'm going to take it out of that folder. Oh. And when I go back to Luminar... We'll scroll back down to the gone? bottom. They're all oh, gone. They are. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So it well, just I can knows see why this has taken a while. There's been a lot of oh, performance tweaking. But one cool thing is you don't now in, in a workflow using some other products, you might have to open your catalog. Oh, I know. Export to a photo editor, make your changes, yep. export back well, to the what photo I've been catalog, doing. and then from the photo catalog. Okay. That what? Been, that's Lightroom has been. That's what I've been using Lightroom for, and then I get Luminar to edit it. So what if? We could do that all in one program. Well, it would be nice. So there's the wood duck again. Yeah. Now we're in the edit pane automatically because I double clicked it. Oh, look at that. We've got layers. We've got channels. We've, we've got, got these presets. You call them looks now, right? Right. We have 51 filters here you can use, including a couple of really fun ones, which, by the way, this works as a plug-in for Photoshop or Lightroom if you still want to use I do. Products. That's how I have been using it. But see, yeah. I've been waiting for your... Uh, asset management, but, so I could just get here's a, out of the here's picture. a filter called Accent AI. Yeah, and it just automatically makes everything. Oh, and you better. have a little slider. Yeah, you don't have to know anything. Down here, we have what we call Luminar Looks. You can see that so there's a whole bunch. So this is what here. Lisa lo look at them all. This is what Lisa loves about this. It, you've got one button yeah. adjustments. But what I like about it is I can then go into the sliders. I can see what you did, and right. I can tweak it myself. I can make it a black and white with one button. <coughs> Look at that. I can make it more colorful And you with have one all the sliders, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks. We have layers. We have clarity. Layers. You and have what's everything. what's different that... about our presets is that you can edit them. Oh, so I can make my own. You can make your own. You can or save, them. save them. You can trade See, them. I don't you like that there's them. too much red in that. Let me tweak that down. You can just do it however you want. And yeah, you can create nice. your own custom workspaces. But you can do. You can still do all the fun, creative stuff. Like, I just got to show you this one thing because it's just, you know, I still, I mean, it's our product and I still, I really can't get used to the fact that it's real. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, we, we here we. So this is here. under 60 bucks. Yeah, and it's a lifetime you own it. Although you update this yearly, we, so if you wanted the new no, no, version, no, 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 we update it regularly, and we have what we call updates and upgrades. Okay. Updates are always free, and this we're, we we are calling Luminar three an update, so it's no charge. No kidding.
No charge. Oh, that's really nice. Every year or two. Because I think people would buy this. Every as year an or two at a reduced rate, yeah, we yeah. will offer an upgrade. But the key here is you don't have to buy it. Yeah, it still works exactly. Everything the same. that you bought, that you paid for, is right. still working. Now, if you say I want these extra features, you have to pay for them. But to, to, but let me let me just show you. No, this. I love this. And you sell additional looks, although it comes with a huge selection. It does, of and we have third party Including selling looks. Goofy ones from Trey. Trey has got the craziest <laughs> his names, but I've used a number of them. I really like them. You saved. I I was saying this before the show, but I uh, Mike, I never posted any of the photos from our trip to uh, Spain. Uh, uh, earlier this uh, year because I wasn't happy with them until I ran them through Luminar and Aurora and all of these pictures came out. Suddenly I could use them. Look oh, that's pretty. Here. Look so at that. I built my own son here, Leo. Oh, my gosh. I can I can move it around and say, I want to throw it over here. Oh, that's so cool. I can change how many... And you don't have to tell anybody you did that. Just uh, no, I mean, keep that to yourself. <laughs> so we, you can do as creative as you want, or you can go basic. Place sun. Oh my goodness, it's it's pretty basic. Well, and what's it interesting? Take a lot of skill. I think that's one of the things that's really cool about Luminar. I like a lot is that a novice photographer can immediately use it. Well, we like to say we take complex tasks yeah. and make them easy. Yeah. But if you want to get in under the hood, you totally have. You that can go in to. and you can do selections and layers. In fact. <laughs> One of the things we can do that nobody else can do is those Luminar looks, what we used to call presets, you can stack them. Oh. I mean, you can even stack multiple occurrences. Like if you wanted to put three suns in this right. picture through the sun rays filter, you yeah. can stack them. Oh, that's... You can stack, you, oh, can do, like you can do opacity blending. If you want to get serious about your editing, you can do it. If I want to put that duck on Tatooine with two suns, you can do that. I could do it. You can composite, you can do a now, lot of advanced infinite stuff. infinite undo, right? I mean, I can undo, undo, undo. Oh, it gets better here. There's a certain program out there that you can edit your photos in, yeah. and you can look at the history as you're yeah, editing. Yeah, I like and, that feature. Close the photo, yeah, and that goes away. You're right. It doesn't save the history. Not with Luminar. You save the history? We save the history. So you have phone. your whole edit history. You can go back 10 years from now and say, what did I do to that photo? I think I did too much sun rays. I'll take some of that out. Do you... Okay, so one of the reasons people use Adobe is Adobe Camera Raw. They're raw oh, renderers. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Yeah. We have what we call our develop filter. It's our version of ACR. And it consistently pulls about a half stop more. Oh, really? So you uh, don't data. use Apple's Camera Raw, you don't use Adobe's. It's ours. You have your own. We use our own. A lot of, like Aperture used to rely on Apple's yeah. Raw conversion. We make our own, it's proprietary. And the dynamic range that we're able to realize, for instance, I'm on Olympus Visionaire, I use Olympus cameras. We're able to consistently get about a half stop more dynamic range than any other raw converter. And you guys are putting out raw for all the new cameras. All the new you cameras. Have the Nikon Z and all We have that. everything. Okay. Yeah. And we work with the camera manufacturers to keep that updated. And if you buy the product, those will always be updated. Nice. It is, it is well thought out. It's well conceived. The young man who invented all this is named Dima. I call him the Keebler Elf because <laughs> I literally have to Is be, it one guy? Well, he was the brains behind it. We have hundred more than 100 now, employees. But, but there was one guy that started it. He, well, one guy and his friend... They, wow. they put it together, and then they brought in a third guy, and then they hired some programmers. But at the end of the day, this is Dima's brainchild, and I have to be careful. He's so smart. If I say something around him, he'll make it. Uh -huh. Like I joked about an old filter we used to make in, the, in, our, in one of our products that did noise reduction a certain way. The next day, he calls me. He says, download this link. It's a new version of Luminar. I said, did we release a new version of Luminar? He goes, no, it's just for you. It has that <laughs> it, you know, He put it in there. So. All right, a couple of questions. Uh, Windows, Mac, Windows, same Mac. UI on both. Same UI on both. So you learn one, you, you, you learn, you learn, learn the one, other you way. Learn Do you, both. Does the licenses are separate though? Yes. You have to buy a Windows version or a Mac version. Yes. Um, you well, know, actually, actually to... we may have just changed that. I'm not sure on that, so okay. I have to ask Check. our support line. Okay. The other thing I would love to see, I just want to ask Dima, can you make a Chrome plugin for this? Because one of the problems I have is I recommend all the time uh, Chromebooks, and I use Chromebooks. Yeah. It would be so nice if I could do this kind I'm going to work on that, Leo. <laughs> I'm going to work on that. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm going to work would on that. Would you tell Dima? I'll tell Dima we'd like to have a Chrome. We would like a Chrome I want to say that, that it's five-seat licenses, too. Oh, that's another thing. I yeah. can only install Adobe stuff on two machines, yeah. laptop and desktop. It drives me crazy because I have multiple machines. We may be changing that, but right, right now. Right now, five? Yeah, you five, might want to buy. Can... In fact, you want to buy in the next three days. I'll tell you why. Why? Because the price is going to go up. So because buy it now and we're you'll, get get reflect, the, you'll get Luminar 3 automatically. Yeah, we're going to reflect what we've added yeah. for the new people. Yeah, that makes sense. But the loyal customers are getting it for free. So today, buy Luminar. It's Until, very uh, For the next three days. I am Go a to Skylum.com. 
S K Y L U M. You may also, I don't mind doing an ad for this because this is actually what I use. And it's really transformed Lisa's photography. She loves Skylum Thank stuff. Thank you. She uses a, a, a Aurora a little bit, but she's pretty much all Luminar. You can do almost everything you do in Aurora with Luminar, frankly. Well, Nah, not, the, know, not the stacking and the There tone, are people that like to do both. Tone mapping. I do know, both. Because we do something in Aurora that most people can't do, which is a single image tone map that doesn't right. look crazy. No, it's interesting because if you're shooting raw, you have a lot of data in there. Yeah. You can actually do a tone map on a single image and get really a great HDR. You don't need to take three yeah. separate We've images. automated as many of these processes yeah. as we can. It's very so, fast. So yeah. here's the thing. If your skill level is down here at rank raw beginner, yeah. we can help you. If your skill level is... Right. I'm a badass photo editor. We can help you too. We can we can reach you wherever you're at. Do you still sell? There was it was great a one touch product where you just drag your photos in there and it would just do it. Glad you asked. We do. That's called Photo Lemur Three. It's still out. It's it's brand new. The oh, new you're version. updating that too. That's been updated. It has our latest AI. You don't have to know anything about photography editing. Take a folder of files. It's really kind of amazing. Drag it on top of it. It just makes them all look better. It's it's actually. And then I say when I see that I say. How do you do that? Uh, then I call Demon. He tells me, and then yeah. I'm I'm sorry because I asked him. Uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, look at that. Yeah. For a lot of people who really aren't really into this photo manipulation, yeah. they just want it. You know, can you fix this photo? Uh, Everybody, it, it you is know, a really good. People who program. aren't like Nam and I, who are serious photographers. Uh, thanks for the cold open, Nam. Uh, oh, you know Nam? Yeah, he's a, he's an Olympus shooter. He's oh, a great I see. He's got he's got one he's of those great, great Olympus pen. People like us, Olympus. we are going to pay attention on the editing yeah. side. But normal people, <laughs> they just want their photos to get better, and we can help them wherever they're at. In the, and I'm grateful for you letting me have an opportunity to show people. I'm pretty excited about this. There's like 130 people who have worked their hearts out on this for the last year wow. and dedicated their lives to it. I feel guilty now because I was pressuring. I said, when's the dam? When's no. the dam? When's the dam? It's, and, and just so you know, this is just the beginning. Wow. Within a few months, we're going to add a whole bunch more features. It's going to be continually ramped up to be much more powerful than it is today. So if you're watching live or you're watching pretty quickly, you have Before time. December 18th. The 18th, that's when the price will go up. I don't know it's going to be exactly that day, but that, that's as of that day, it's out. fair game. Okay. So get it now, yeah. and you'll get a free upgrade when it comes out. And for those of you who are hearing this later, well, it's st I mean, it's still not expensive. And, no, and we don't actually have any plans to charge for an update even into 2019. Compare it to uh, what you pay for Lightroom. It's, it's cheaper. It's, it's cheaper and yeah. better. It looks a little faster. Oh, Scott, I'm so glad you were here. Me and, too. Uh, and thank you for doing what you're doing to help that. Oh, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful to be able to have an impact on we, the photo. Uh, we have been trying for two years to get Skylum to advertise on Twitter. They I'm won't. The, I'm just the president of the company. They I have won't. nothing to and say about that. And it's fine with me. I don't mind. Uh, and I'm glad to give them a plug because I think they're really, this is a great thank product. You.